here. Um, we're not really doing it week to week and doing it by sessions to review because just so much is going on each week. Um, it would probably take 20, 30 minutes to go through everything they're doing straight away and that's really hard on the dogs. So what we're doing is many five to 10 minute sessions throughout the day. So here we have Yogi. We are working on the hand target, the nose pocket idea. So I'm making sure he understands what we're doing. There I'm pointing and saying, get it because a little piece of the turkey fell out of my hand. So here you can see he's starting to sit, but he has a very cute wiggly bottom. So sitting is very hard for him. Um, he, so here we're working on it. And so basically my hand is not pushing him down. If you look at it, I've got my arm there and I'm using my right arm to kind of lift him up. And so think of it as more of a bar, like he's trying to sit under the bar. Um, I don't increase the pressure or anything. I just kind of set it where it needs to be. And so it's not forced. I just need him to think about what his little wiggly butt is doing. Um, the stationary exercises are probably the hardest ones for Yogi because he just, he likes to wiggle a lot and he gets very excited. So here we're getting a nice little tuck sit. Um, I go ahead and say, okay. And I pet him. So each time I'm giving him a cookie, I'm saying yes. Here he's trying to remember how to get the cookies. So we go back. And this is probably the most amount of reps I've ever been able to get out of him when we're working on this body shaping behavior. He, he would rather play with toys. He'd rather do the leash work. He'd rather do, again, the moving type exercises in this. So these are very, very hard for him to focus on. Um, we've been doing the running into the crate exercise to kind of give him a, a target basically for his stationary exercises. And so doing it out here when there's not really a target and he has to keep working with me is very hard. So I'm very happy with where he's gotten in his progress here. So I'm pushing it probably a little further than I normally would with the sit. And so, um, I believe someone came in the door over there, so he went to check it out, but he didn't even go all the way before he checked back in. So this is kind of an example of the satelliting behavior. Whenever I'm, you know, out and we're doing stuff, he just automatically wants to gravitate back towards me. So there's the person that came in, and so he's working through this distraction. Um, you can't hear the, the audio from the video clip, but there's quite a bit going on. Um, there's a dog in the other in the room. Um, Lucy's there barking because she's not getting to do training, and Yogi is. Um, so again, so here I'm working on some body awareness things just to loosen him up left and right to get him to move those feet. And then I go into a stationary exercise where I'm asking him to not fully lay down. I want him to understand the concept of just folding down. So I've got my arm again as a bar. And so again, think of it kind of as a limbo bar. He's having to go under it. Um, I don't increase the pressure. It's just as he follows my hand under it, um, he has to scoot to go underneath it and keep getting the food. So we're using a pretty high value treat here. It's just uh, some turkey. So this kind of guarantees that he's gonna try extra hard with the things that he doesn't really like to do. And um, so I'm basically just saying yes. I'm marking the behavior whenever his elbows go down. And again, I'm not pushing him. He's just having to go under my arm. And as he lowers himself, I'm just keeping the pressure the same. So he doesn't start crawling or some other behavior that I'm trying to do, not trying to do. Right now I'm just trying to go for the sit and the down. And so here I say, okay, and I release him and we're petting. Um, here I'm demonstrating where we are with our restraint. Again, not his favorite thing, but it's good for doing nails, it's good for bathing, all of that. He tolerates it really well, but again, he would rather be playing games like this where we're trying to find the, the little crumbs of cookies that are left on the ground and things like that. So. So here he remembers to check in with me. So I give him a piece of food and I don't have him on a leash here because I do want him to actually have the opportunity to leave me. Um, he's not going to learn how to come back to me if he's not leaving me. And so here we do some play that ends up in restraint. And so that way we're doing the fun thing play and I'm trying to get him to see if he'll wiggle. And so there he tried to wiggle and then he went, Oh no, I remember this. I just, just lay here and everything's going to be fine. So we're going to review real fast um, where we are in the progress. We have, another two weeks before we need to wrap this up and so I think we're in really good position for where we are with uh, both the dogs. Yogi's done really well. He loves to train um, and so obviously we've worked on the reward system of praise and food. He understands what those mean. He understands that there's value on that um, engagement. Um, you know he does like to play with the other dogs and we have introduced him to all different things but bottom line he understands that he needs to be doing it with the people and so he likes that kennel and crate he's doing well in that we can consistently get between six and eight hours of uh, time in the crate we are not barking in the crate unless we need to go out to potty 
So I'm happy with where we are. The vehicle stuff, we went to that horse show last weekend. He got to ride in the RV. He got to ride in the truck. Um, so he got exposure with that. He's not super excited about it, but he's not unhappy about it. So we're just going to do some more reps of that and move on from there. Chasing skills. This is probably one of the lower things for him that we haven't placed emphasis on. Um, he will chase things, but I haven't used it you know, as a precursor for doing tug or anything else like that just because of the nature of where he's going um, and the things he likes to do. Body awareness, he's great with this. He likes to climb on things. Um, not as much as Lucy, but he's he's very willing to do whatever I ask him to do. Um, intro to markers, that's just going to be the concept of yes, and he's good with that. Grooming, again, it's a stationary exercise, so he, he tolerates it fine. I mean, I don't think any of them are going to really ever be like, yay, bath time. Um, but he tolerates it really well. He's had several baths, and so we'll probably do one or two more before he goes home. Uh, foundation leash work and the off-leash work. Typically with puppies, I work on the off-leash first. They're very small, so their whole world tends to be 20 to 50 feet from you, so it's a lot easier to work on that. So we really worked heavy on that. He can do a recall now from like 100 feet away easily. Um, just lots of fun things like that. And so all we do in the end is we add a leash to that, and then that way he wants to stay near me with the leash, and we go with that. Sit by default, we're kind of hit or miss on this. He knows to organize himself in front of me and to stare. Sometimes he's sitting, sometimes he's wiggling too much. Um, so we're just kind of rewarding more for the sit and just, you know, a little bit less for the other, but we like both of them. Um, restraint, as you saw, we've been working on that and um, we did give him his vaccination and yeah, household socialization. He's had exposure to everything that's on that list. He's done really, really well with all of it. Um, when we went to the horse show last weekend, we kind of kept the dogs on the edges of the show at the RV so they didn't have to really deal with all of the hubbub. And they did really well with all of that. So I'm really happy with that. So now we're gonna go into the list for the second level. So here, you know, obviously instead of reviewing the level one concepts, we're just constantly using that in our day to day because those are the foundation stuff for the level two. Um, a big thing that we introduce here is the, the concept of sit and down and wait. And so with the waiting, it's a lot easier for Yogi to have like a solid thing to aim for. So we've really been working with the crate. There's a program that Susan Garrett does, which is called uh, Crate Game. Crate, yeah, Crate Games. And basically it, it uses the crate as a target for the dogs to go in. They want to be there. And so we've been working on that. Um, the crate that he has, it's not easy for him to open up the door. And so he gets a little frustrated with that and I have to help him. But we're getting to where he can wait longer and longer before I close the door. Um, and he's getting a little more patient with that. And so again, that's Susan Garrett's uh, Crate Games. It's a really good DVD. And it talks about the different games that you can play with using your crate. So the formal sit and the formal down, those are the things that we're working on the most right now as far as kind of new concepts. Um, now that he's able to focus and work harder, we can add in the things that he doesn't like as much um, versus what we were doing before. Um, loose leash walking, he's, you know, we've started putting the leash on. He understands to stay near me, so the next thing we're going to do is just reward more for him being on my left side. Um, recall on cue, he comes very quickly whenever you just say pop, 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 or yogi, yogi, yogi. Um, he responds really well with that, so we're going to try and put it together and see how finished we can get with that. Um, it's hard with the puppies. They tend to not be terribly precise with their body, but we like to introduce the ideas. And so that's where the introductions of all of this stuff comes in. We've been working on the, the sit in front of us, and so the automatic sit is basically the sitting next to us. Um, so yeah, mouthing, biting, not a thing that we really had an issue with him at all. Um, whenever he gets excited or he wants to do anything, he just kind of jumps up. And so we've just been hugging him when he does that. Um, and so introduction to house training. He's honestly never had an accident in the house, but we do a lot of tethering, so his space is limited. Um, and he's just been really good with that. Platform work is um, it's kind of like the crate games. Um, basically, there's an area where he's going to be able to be up on it, and we're going to start generalizing that he can wait on there. Again, it gives him a concrete area to be on so when he's thinking about something like stay he's just there's a space for him to stay versus the ground which is really big um training collars and leashes these are going to be just martingales with him he doesn't need anything that's really corrective um and so most of the time we use the buckle collar or just the martingale and off-site training sessions again we worked with him last weekend at the horse show and he did well um, we kept it really low key just mostly because it was a little more stressful being in a different environment and um 
Yeah, so we're going from there. So I'm going to review the Star Puppy testing requirements, and I think we should be good to go with him being certified for that. So thank you, and we'll check in later.